Well, hey everybody, it's Chuck. Good morning. Well, I am up early and it is what in aviation and seamanship we call twilight. Uh, the sun is not up yet, but it is light enough to see. And I am trying to capture a little bit of rush hour for a dedicated unprotected left-hand turns video on FSD version 14.1.2. My first impression drive was good yesterday. So here's our first unprotected left turn. Full NHTSA stop. Trying to get some decent traffic here and see what we get. And we got a wide open gap from the left and from the right. So the first one was a gimme, but there's our question mark. Let me see it join the traffic here and away we go. There's number one. Uh, hey, you know what the traffic is, what the traffic is. It is Friday morning at 715. So, uh, you know, maybe Friday isn't the best rush hour day, but we'll see what we get. Everybody's still got their headlights on. I'm not sure if the light kind of shows uh, kind of how it feels, but we're kind of in that twilight with headlights on. Let's try another one. All right, here we go. Round number two. I do want to highlight I am on Max, uh, Mad Max mode, uh, not because I think Mad Max is going to do anything on the behavior of these turns. It's about, you know, you guys wanting to just see it. Okay, a lot of traffic coming from the left. We're just going to have to sit here for a little bit. Um, solid. I don't think I could go at all. The traffic's going to be filling in from the right. So on yesterday's first impressions drive, Mad Max definitely showed itself in traffic. But not like this kind of traffic, uh, crossing traffic. It, it really shows itself its ability in lane changes and aggressively working its way through traffic when you're in the flow of it. All right, here's a small gap here. Are we going to go? We are. Question mark. Got a fast oncoming car into the gap. Nice. Now we got to wait. All right. So I'm going to try to do my uh, rear view camera screen here. I'm, I'm going to fit inside the median well. I can't really see. I'm looking back through the camera. I'm just going to look through my repeater camera here. Lots of traffic coming and we're waiting. Is it going to go? It's going. All right. Did we fit in front of a car? You know, it accelerated pretty good there. That was a boss unprotected left turn. It was smooth. There was no jitter. There was no brake stabbing. And you jumped in traffic with a good acceleration and commit. That might be my first one where I really felt the commit in front of oncoming traffic to fit inside of a small gap. Nice job, Tesla. Wow. Let's try another one. All right, here we go. Number three. A little bit more traffic I can see in front of us now. There's our NHTSA stop. Come on, let's go creep out there. Let's see what we got. All right, another good slug of traffic from the left. A lot of traffic from the left. So we're sitting here again. This is great. Wow, this time of day really works. Just before 7.30. Um, got a bus here. You know, with the headlights, it's really different from my eyes looking at traffic and depth perception. Um, the human eyes, you know, I can see there's cars coming, but I, it, it, until they get a little bit closer, here's a little gap. It's going for it. All right, in the right lane, and we're going to have to wait again. All right, wait, 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 wait. Oh, what it did. Gosh, it's just so confident. It's given me everything I need to know that it's not going to go in traffic. And I have to be honest, my neck is cranked around. We're, we're in the median just like we need to be. And I, with the ambient light, I can't get depth perception out of those cameras. So I'm really just kind of looking through this tiny little window in the back corner of the car. And it looks like in two more cars, it's going to be wide open. So another one, it's just going to, and here's the pre-roll. Wow. Oh my gosh. This is exciting. Holy smokes. Is it doing good? The, the best thing it's doing is getting itself in the median at a great angle so that it can just sit there and wait. Now, the Cybertruck is a different story. You know, what's the question mark going to look on the Cybertruck? We really can't wait that long in heavy traffic with your butt sticking out into the road if the Cybertruck doesn't fit. Well, that's number three. Let's try another one. All right, here we go on number four. Let's see what we get on this one. Starting to get a little bit more light. Still a lot of headlights on, so it's kind of getting brighter, but the uh, auto headlights on most people's vehicles haven't turned off yet. Coming out on the traffic and... All right, we got a nice big gap. Okay, so we got another gimme here. So off to the right, off to the left, got a little bit of a, a bicyclist coming around, but he's in the far right lane. No issues there. All right, so number four was a gimme. But hey, we'll throw it in there. This is real life. I'm showing you what I'm showing you. Let's try another one. Okay, here we go. Number five, I believe we're on here. We'll see what the traffic has got here. I've got a truck right behind me. 
not worried about that anymore because this car has gone for some good ones here. A uh, little bit of traffic coming from the left. Ooh, and I'm starting to see some headlights turned off. So I guess it's getting a little bit brighter. Looks like the stoplight um, turned to the right. So the traffic's backing up a little bit. A little bit of a gap here. Look at it going for that gap. Nice. And from the right, wide open. Just smoothly fit in between those cars with and without headlights. So um, same behavior, smooth, no brake stabbing, uh, no pausing. Uh, really, really good. I need to try some more though, because we got to get some more heavy travel. Stick with me. All right. Are we on number six already? Wow. All right. Lights are still on on some of these cars, but it's getting brighter and brighter. Hopefully the exposure on this film works today. All right. What do we got? Okay. I hit the traffic here. Pretty good here from the left. No traffic from the right yet. Got some tiny little gaps here after this box truck but it feels like they're shrinking due to this lane change. So I think it needs to wait right there. Do you see that little gap? Ah, great. And the brake didn't pop at all. And there's another little gap here. Boy, that's a little one if you go for that. Oh, it didn't do it. Awesome. I, I say little only because of the speed, right? Because the speed of the oncoming cars grows and shrinks the size of the gap that it has, right? Um, it's relative motion. So you just gotta constantly judge it. Let me tell you what, the human eye is pretty good at noticing speed of a large size vehicle. It's a little harder on a motorcycle and smaller things. Um, and, and these headlights to the human eye make it a little bit harder. And I don't think it's as hard for uh, the artificial intelligence to use these headlights, but I may be wrong. Uh, okay, here's our gap from the left. This is a great one. Let's see, we got traffic coming from the right that's lightening up, a little bit of a question mark. Oh, and it's just gonna roll this like a boss into the left lane adjacent to that traffic. That used to be hard for it to do, to jump out right next to adjacent traffic in an open lane. It used to be very hesitant on that. And there's a good reason because that car could change lanes at the last minute with or without a blinker. There is a little bit of risk. Um, it could have waited another second and gone in behind that car, but it chose to go uh, very aggressively. All right, let's try another one. All right, here we go again. And boy, there's the train I've been trying to, uh, you know, find on my first impressions drive to do a little bit of railroad testing. It's a little hard to time a train, but here, there was our NHTSA stop. We're pulling out here and we got some gaps coming up. Um, the train does hold the traffic in an interesting way. Going out to our, our uh, there's a little bit of a dry wipe early in the morning from the left. Left lane is open, jumping out in front of traffic that time but a good acceleration. Now the acceleration here could be max, ma Mad Max mode. I, I'm not really sure. If I was in sloth, is it gonna necessarily accelerate into traffic? That's the behavior we're talking about, about not really having a complete picture. But hey, listen, so far today, these unprotected left turns have been flawless. Let's try another one. All right, here we go. I lost track. I don't know, is this eight? Something like that. There's our NHTSA stop. Let's see what we get this time. Coming on up. All right, we got sparse traffic. It's a little thinner. A couple little small gaps and it's wide from the right. Oh, but we have a motorcycle. Don't go in front of him. Okay, it might have done that. But do you see that motorcycle? Uh, I don't know if that's on me or not. Um, but boy, I didn't want to risk it not seeing that motorcycle and test it. I'm a little cautious around motorcycles. Um... I think it would have gone fine. I don't know really if that was the right decision or not. That was the first motorcycle interaction I had. It was the, it did not have its headlights on. Uh, what do you guys think on that? I don't like jumping out in front of motorcycles. Um, it's just me. Let's go ahead and re-engage here and see what we get. The traffic may be different. Um, I kind of feel bad for disengaging the gap was probably fine, but man, those motorcycles can be uh, trickier than vehicles. Okay, we're back into some traffic here. We got a car coming from the right that's going around, and he had the right lane open. Um, we got to wait here from the left, and we got another car coming from the right that's going to have to kind of look over our car through my 360 camera on the hood. Uh, I can't see traffic coming from the right now, so probably the car can't either. Um, we got a little gap coming, but that's a little one. That's a pretty small one. Is it gonna take that one? It didn't even pop the brake. You know, um, 
I, I think the, the thing that's going to matter on that motorcycle analysis is, is did it see it? And whether it's on the screen or not, if it is on the screen, that doesn't matter. I was being cautious around that motorcycle. Uh, it probably could have worked um, if that motorcycle was going the speed limit. I just don't know if he was or not. All right, there's our gap coming from the right. I don't think we have any traffic uh, from the right, I mean. And there we go, joining the left. Another really good one. You know, I, they've been so solid. I'm, I'm second guessing myself on whether or not that motorcycle gap was adequate or not. But um, I just talked about motorcycles and how fast they can go on this road. And they really do go fast sometimes. And I just, I didn't process it fast enough to, to make a, a, a go for it decision. So I decided to go the safe route. Hopefully you guys understand that. Let's try one more. All right, here we go. Let's make this our last one. Let's make it a good one. Not sure if it's going to be a good one, an easy one, or a hard one. But we're going to do our full nits of stop for the last time. And it's going to be a gimme. There's a little bit of traffic from the left, and we got a tiny little gap here. It's going to do a question mark. And we're going to go around, and it's going to do a roller into the left lane. All right. Hey, Tesla. Uh, I tell you what, the brake stabbing and the smoothness on FSD 14.1.2 is obvious in these dynamic situations with lots of traffic. It did a perfect job executing the question mark every single time. I think its decision making was probably perfect every time. I disengaged one time for a motorcycle, maybe in post analysis with the video I provide, you guys can do your own assessments on whether or not I could have gone or not. Uh, those of you that are motorcycle riders yourself, you probably appreciate the fact I didn't go. There's nothing like, um, you know, tapping your front brakes and slowing down aggressively for a car that shot through a gap that was a little bit tight. Um, that was what was going through my mind, especially since that motorcycle didn't have his headlight on. And um, he could have been going very fast. On this road, they typically are going much faster than the traffic. So that's what my mind was thinking. In any case, I hope you enjoy this content. I did take a poll to see whether or not I should even make this one. I'm glad I did, especially for the smoothness and the uh, brake stabbing just being gone for me on this version. In any case, thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great day, and I really hope this goes wide to everybody. We'll see you next time.